Spirit of the Lord and He set me in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones. He led me back and forth among them and I saw a great many bones on the floor of the valley. These bones were very dry, dry, dead bones. And then He asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I said, Sovereign Lord, you alone know. Mm. Then he said to me, prophesy to these bones and say to them, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Amen. This is what the sovereign Lord says to these bones. I will make breath enter you and you will come to life and I'll attach tendons to you and make flesh come upon you and I'll cover you with skin and I'll put breath in you and you'll come to life and then you'll know that I am the Lord. Amen. See, I was sharing some prophetic words this morning from Scripture. Dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Amen. In order for us to move from where we are to where God wants to take us, we have to go through the gates. Amen. And there is always opposition at the gates. By the way, bigger opposition usually means bigger breakthrough coming. A bigger battle means a bigger victory. But we need to press through at this time. So if you apply what you're hearing this morning, you're building your house on the rock. But you've got to learn how to shout the praises of God at the gate. You've got to learn how to block the voice of the enemy at the gate. Don't let it enter in to your heart and your mind. You've got to learn how to let the voice, dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Let the prophetic voice of God come into your mind. Why? Because the breath, the life breath of God is in the prophetic word. The life breath of God is going around right now. And if you let the prophetic life breath of God word come in you, the very thing the python spirit is trying to suck out of you, you put back in you and you'll break the chains of the python spirit. Satan hates the true prophetic word. Satan hates the word of the Lord. Because when we listen to it, you know, the python spirit comes, it steals our vision. You know what happens? We become confused. We, we lose our vision. We wander around aimlessly. We get lost. We get defeated. That's what Satan wants. But once we get the word of the Lord again, oh, now I know the vision. Now I know the path. I'm not going to wander around aimlessly. I'm not going to be confused. I'm going to finish my race. That's what happens when you listen to the word of the Lord. It puts your feet back on a strong path that you'll move towards your victory. Satan wants you running around a wilderness so you're confused and you're, you're fretting and you're panicking and then you make decisions that are unwise outside of God's wisdom. Right. Yeah. Because only by the word of the Lord and obeying the word of the Lord can you make a decision that's in agreement Amen. with God's wisdom Amen. and then you'll be empowered by God to finish the race. You know, We're just going to finish there. I never knew what Clem was going to speak on Sunday and this is a song that really touched my heart. Come alive, come alive, dead dry bones. Come on, like dead hearts, you know, like it's, it's, it's a, it matches perfectly with this message. I never knew that I was going to speak.